Hi, I'm Mark Muir, GeorgeIrishDiscology.com. Excuse the lights, there's a little bit of glare. But I'm going to talk a little bit about the air bounce throw. A lot of y'all like the air bounce throw. That's the throw that your disc takes off and it rises, goes down and up. Kind of what happens is, well, one concept is I like to tell people is, think about the movie Top Gun when Tom Gr Cruise was being chased by that other jet. And Tom turned his jet up. Like this, what he did was let air catch his, uh, the back side of his jet and forced it to go up. That was called an air bounce. But what we're trying to think of, and what I kind of want to explain to you is, what you want to do ultimately is to get the disc to push down. You've got this little bowl underneath that's coming down. You want to get as many air molecules underneath it to make it explode upwards. It's, it's a throw that you can't practice every day because, well, I find out a lot of people say their shoulders get really sore. I know mine do. So what I do to begin with when I first started is I kind of just learned the basic. A lot of times people will put a dimple on their disc. They put a dimple. See, a dimple. Like that. You grip. Like this. And what I like to do to begin with is I just try to learn the motion and I just throw it from here. Just working on this motion. That motion. Okay? I don't know if any of you ever played baseball, but ultimately when a baseball player catches the ball in the outfield, he'll catch it, he'll take it, and he'll throw. And that's kind of what you're going to do with the air bounce throw. So you've worked over time getting accuracy on that up to 10, 15 yards or something. So then you want to start, how I do it is, is I'll take a little, I'll swing my leg out and push it down. Take my leg out, swing, and I start pushing down with my hand. You see where my hand's coming through? I'm still putting that dimple on it, and I'm taking it and pushing it down. So, what I'll do is what you're going to need to do is really focus on picking out a target. I pick me out a target about 10, 15 feet in front of me, depending on how hard I'm going to throw it and how long I want the air bounce to go. The only air bounce I actually throw in a routine is actually one where I'm laying down and I throw it to rocket. But some of these guys can really, really throw some beautiful air bounces. I'm not, I'm not somebody. I just understand it and I can throw a, a, a normal air bounce. I can't throw these great air bounces like Preston Dean or. That Rue Yori, like they throw some really, really nice air bounces. Um, so, eventually, I'll start coming around and I'll throw and I'll swing and I'm going to come real low and I'm picking me a target out about 10 feet out in front of me. So, I hit that camera. So, <clears throat> it takes a lot of work. What's going to happen is when you first start re releasing, a lot of times it's going to go to the right or to the left. That's it coming off your hand that way or that way. You're releasing it too early, too late, etc. So, what you got to understand is this is a throw that comes out flat. Pick out a target about 10 feet out in front of you, 15 feet. Start up here and learn the first motion. Then that this motion and then from this motion you can actually start working on that flick but pick you out a target on the ground 10 15 feet out from you and you want to push it and where that target is you want that disc to be coming down there it goes low then it'll go up catching there so remember it's okay if they go right or left to begin with that's you learning how to release it off your hand so a lot of people like to give them a sometimes they use it for a reference point so that dimple dimple in the disc down Okay? And that's your air bounce. I'm Mark Muir with GeorgeIrishDiscDodge.com. I, I hope this will help you some. Thanks. Bye.